Hello, this is Hakuta Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-125, also known as the Contagious Reflection. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-125, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. Supports for instances of SCP-125 are kept in added boxes and covered with a fine nylon as it allows vision through, but obscures the surface of the mirror by at least 25%. These supports consist of a polished metallic surface, currently silver plated and brass, with no sharp or regular edges, which must be imperatively be smoothed out to prevent grips in the protective of mesh. To prevent per to further prevent incidents, any person penetrating the room where SCP-125 is located will also wear such a protective mesh over their face. But it glass mirror should be avoided for the purpose of SCP-125 is capable of moving from the glass itself to the metal surface. Any metallic surface and room reflection as any additional security ensure the room is kept as an additional security room is kept as an or only by uh, interacting with like another plus. No mirror compare a reflective surface, including not to face pens, sunglasses, laptop computers, and glass objects, and room out to control experiments. Subject may not be photographed or filmed in its unrestrained state. The end of the set, and for relief, her snap has been published by reports between the black dots, M-10, and some who immediately put aside and look alert for the contaminant will be clear. Individuals contaminated with will undergo containment of 25 years return to active duty the instance of 125 as their cornea has rendered completely inert. SCP-125 is an apparent being that can only exist in reflections. At rest of the front, it takes part of a black circle, 70.2 millimeters in diameter around the reflective surface. Its first novel is characteristic of the apparent circle to any observer who regards the surface as angles, spins, and the viewer, or viewers. And now regarded more as if it were a sphere in contact with the surface, blocking shadow or height. And this is where an obstacle such as a containment mesh makes it clear SCP-125 to extend on the surface as invented to. SCP-15 does not reflect light red when observed in ultraviolet, however, that expands to anything that expands. For unclear reasons, it's not used, but measurable in constant amount of x rays. SCP-15 is capable of moving across surfaces that currently exist. This movement may only be represented by either angle, the surface of a reasonable continuous curve, or a non-reflective effect. SCP-15 is the aim of the surface and across the edge of the surface. In the instance of SCP-15, it is demonstrated down to a two-brown corner, between the glass and the surface of metal glass, and the surface of metal top surface is a containment purpose. Although capable of anywhere along the surface, the mobile layer is edge and the now surface has specific and will take away in lower right surface, even if it's later moved. The reflective surface can become reasonably accurate, but if one to five percent, starts to drop into various surfaces, glass, polymer, various surfaces, and wood. All the under circles of liquid falling out when reflected by surface. SCP was not able to refer to it, however, SCP-25 not survive on whatever you or whatever source of the area. Perfectly, you want to read it. The experience will be able to cover as soon as it is completely. The entity has a certain level of seconds and even seconds slacking physics. It appears unknowing to be direct or hidden from sight. Well, all these things will be accepted as freedom of the eye by jumping to the surface of the process current where you pass. You also flee from these threats to comply with the situation. Demonstrating a of human communication. How it is capable of breaking or communicate back is certainly unknown. In its normal state, SCP-125 is completely harmless and incapable of multiplying. It is, however, perfectly capable of moving to a living reflective surface, specifically that of a living animal, Oscornia. It will, in fact, do everything in its power to do so, indicating a natural desire. Once it has achieved this, SCP-125 diminishes in size by a factor of a tenth While existing on the surface of a new, SCP-125 becomes capable of multiplying the surfaces, as opposed to moving, nearly moving between them. Multiplication occurs primarily because into class Passage C one and several rapidly with nine days of initial protection, cry out the entire issue. Copy IT to block the cells of the eyes of the half of the first year. Only after you have got explained HS run its course and SV one twenty five cease being contagious. No for SV one twenty five is not to be in keeping the area's eyes that it covers to prevent the first red and administration of the rouse of serious infection. After continuing to crowd at every regular basis and FV one twenty five is actually a phenomenon or that is over the planet somewhere prior to the beginning of history. For this to know, 
Uh, SCP-125, SCP-125, uh, we are given no documents. So, that's the end. Anyway, that was SCP-125, or the Contagious Reflection. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!